Hello, my name is Derek Franklin, and I'm an applications engineer here at GoEngineer. Oftentimes, I'm asked the question, I just recently installed Enterprise PDM on one of my machines, and when I go inside of SolidWorks and go to Tools, Add-ins, I don't see the SolidWorks Enterprise PDM add-in listed inside of my add-ins list. Why would that be? And really, there are two reasons why that would happen. Number one, we're not using the correct license type, and or number two, we did not select to include the Enterprise PDM add-in inside of the installation. So in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you number one, how to check to make sure that we are using the proper license type. And number two, show you how to modify the Enterprise PDM client installation to include the ePDM add-in for SolidWorks. Okay. So let's close out of SolidWorks here. I'm going to go to my start menu, all programs, SolidWorks Enterprise PDM, administration and inside of the administration tool we can ensure that we're using the correct license type by selecting on the about SOLIDWORKS enterprise PDM administration button and this dialog shows us not only the client version of the software that we're using but also the license type that we're using so as you can see right now I have the editor license selected which is the correct license type now this is important because if we were using the contributor or the viewer license type, we would not be able to utilize the EPDM add-in inside of SOLIDWORKS as these two license types do not give us that capability. So we want to make sure that we're using the editor license. Another thing to point out here, just for your information, is that we can downgrade to a different license type if we would like to. So for example, if I'm using the editor license and I wanted to use a contributor or a viewer license, I can select it directly from this dialog list to change the license type. <clears throat> However, it is important to note that we cannot upgrade the license type from a viewer to a contributor or from a contributor to an editor from this dialog box. The reason being that there are additional add-ins that would need to be installed with the editor license type and the software cannot do that from this dialog box. What we would need to do in that case would be modify the installation. Okay. So again, I just want to make sure we have the editor license selected and say OK. <clears throat> Close out of our administration tool. And now I just want to ensure that I include the EPDM add-in for SOLIDWORKS through the installation. So I'm going to come in here and modify my Enterprise PDM client installation just by going to the programs and features um, menu inside of Windows Explorer, finding the SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM installation, right clicking and say change. Click next here. We want to modify the installation. On the custom setup page, we don't need to make any changes here, so I'm going to go ahead and click next. Again, we want to ensure that we're using the correct license type on the choose product type page. So make sure that the Enterprise PDM editor license is selected. Next. And on the add-ins page, we want to ensure that we select the SOLIDWORKS box. This is how the Enterprise PDM um, add-in is installed to be included inside of SOLIDWORKS. So I'm just going to click next. And now we're ready to finish the modification of the installation. So I'm just going to click on the install button here. Now it is important to note at this time that if you install the Enterprise PDM client using an admin image, it will not be possible to modify the installation in this manner to include the add-in. What we would need to do in that situation would be to update the administrative at, uh, image to include the add-in and then rerun the add-in, I'm sorry, the image on the client machine. Okay, our installation is finished here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. And now let's reopen SOLIDWORKS to make sure that our add-in is now included. Okay, so I'm going to go back to Tools, Add-ins. And now we can see our SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM is listed inside of our add-ins list. Now to make it active and turn it on, we can just select the box under the active add-ins column for Enterprise PDM. And if we wanted to include the Enterprise PD, P, 
Wikipedium add-in to startup every time we opened up SolidWorks under the startup column box we could just select the box there and we say OK and now over on my right in the task pane I can see the SolidWorks Enterprise PDM add-in and there you have it thanks for watching again my name is Derek Franklin with Go Engineer and I hope you have a great day.